Hi, I'm Kieran from FaZe, and I want to take a few minutes to share with you on the final moments of this academic year. A year that has felt like it's been two halves. It started off with so much promise, so much hope, so much expectation. I was excited about the Olympics, about Euro 2020, about family holidays, about seeing Taylor Swift in concert. Well, that was more Emily uh, on the team. But yes, yeah, being one full of missed endings, full of time apart, full of separation, through missing people and loved ones and being missing our community as a whole. Yet we've pulled through it. We have done well. When I look at the Hitchin Girls School community, I feel proud. I feel proud of how resilient you've been. I feel proud of seeing the amazing things that you've done and you've achieved despite all of that adversity, despite all of that challenge, despite all of that difficulty, you have done great. And actually often it's in that adversity and that challenge and that difficulty that we grow the most. Somebody once said that it's when we step outside our comfort zone that we actually enter our growth zone. It's where the magic happens. It's where we grow and develop and we grow stronger and do better. And during this difficult time, that's exactly what you've done. Yes, it has been, we've been unsure. Yes, it has been uncertain. Yes, we felt very uneasy at times. But it's been amazing to see the community of the girls' school pull together, to be resilient, to encourage one another, that shown determination, shown that grit, shown that tenacity and that strength of character that has meant even when it's been tough, we've got through it together. Even when you've been feeling uh, like you can't go on, and she's been the community around you that has pulled you through, that has encouraged. And it makes me feel proud to be a part of that community, even just a small part. I feel so proud and, and amazed to be, to be part of that. And you make it like that. I want to say thank you. It's often said that community grows best in adversity. In fact, Benjamin Disraeli once said that there is no education like adversity. And this year has felt like one like that. And actually, it's in adversity that we grow the most. Henry Ford once said, coming together is the beginning, staying together is progress, and working together is success. And that's what you have done. You've come together, you've stayed together, and you've worked together for that success. Now, just like you, FaZe have been a part as well. And so I wanted to give the opportunity to some of the team to face adversity, to face struggle, but to come out victorious. Now, if I was you in person, I'd probably got some people up to do some crazy game right now. But I can't do that. So they're going to do that. So here's what's going to happen. Well, first of all, I need to get changed into something a little bit more suitable to run a top-end, high-end, high-impact game show. That's how long I've been on ya. Much better, more game show like. So this is how it's going to work. We've got Hannah and Emily, uh, and you're going to be going head to head. There's going to be three questions. Now we're going to need some buzzers. Uh, so in front of you, uh, I've made sure you've got three buzzers, and we have shaving foam, we have cereal, and we have water. And what's going to happen? It's going to be the first to two. So there's only three questions. Winner takes all, and you're going to be playing for the amazing prize of a dairy milk bar. So. What is the cross between a donkey and a zebra known as? Z donk. Dog trap. That's right. Well done, Emily. A Z donk. Okay, question two. What is the collective noun for a group of unicorns? What's that, Hannah? Um, That's correct. Um, Rainbow? No, it is not a rainbow, Emily. Okay, final question now. This is it. It is one all. So the winner of this question takes all. And the third and final question is, who sang Shake It Off? Good. Well done, Emily. Fantastic. You're the proud winner of this Dairy Milk Bar. Congratulations. Going to pass it to you right now. Well done, really proud of you. Winning in all of that adversity, Hannah. Well, see you again soon. I hope you enjoyed that as much as I did. When we work through adversity, we succeed together. And as we come to the end of this academic year, there's three things I want to encourage you to remember to hang on to in the midst of uncertainty, because these things are certain. And the first one is that you are part of an amazing community, that you are amazing. The second is that the girls' school will be there. The staff and the team at the school cannot wait to see you again, to welcome you with a smile because they have missed you. 
And the third is that, yes, it will feel uncertain. We will feel unsure, but we face that together. We will all be in that together. And it's when we go through that adversity together, when we stay as a community, that we succeed. I want to wish you a very safe and happy summer. I look forward to seeing you at some time in person in the future. Stay safe, rest well, and we'll see you again soon.